eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. You have thousands of soldiers on both sides who are maimed. It's just heartbreaking to think about these children. You could go up in a balloon, overfly the enemy position, look down, gather intelligence. Civil War participants living and breathing in action. That's awesome. Is marching on. I love the title of Discovering the Civil War because it's little known facts and it's allowing the visitor to uncover these elements through documents. Documents give facts that are moving, outrageous, uh, infuriating. There is a roster of DC children in an orphanage and they're all under the age of 12. In the remarks column, it's simply written in terms of the status of the parents lost during war. To have a question mark on something so important, it just kind of stayed with me. What we came across were some letters um, in which government contractors were accused of using 15% wool and 85% of this filler material. Shoddy should have been 85% wool, 15% shoddy, and so these blankets fell apart very easily. So the term shoddy all of a sudden becomes um, synonymous with poor quality. You're starting to see here with the Civil War the birth of some of today's more modern uh, intelligence um, uh, branches, what today would be called imagery intelligence with, with the advent of ballooning and overhead observation. We have a great example in the exhibition of a colonel who created a map from his experience two days aloft. One of the points we wanted to make in the exhibit was that slaves acted on their own to secure their freedom. There is a letter from a black Union soldier who is writing to his wife's owner and he wants his child back. The longer you keep my child from me, the longer you will have to burn in hell, and the quicker you will get there. For we are now making up about 1,000 black troops. And when we come, woe be to the slave-holding rebels. This is a little known fact that there were two 13th Amendments, one um, holding up slavery and one abolishing slavery. The first 13th Amendment, the Emancipation Proclamation, and the Second 13th Amendment are all in the same area. And the way that we laid them out, it's like they're, they're kind of like breadcrumbs. You go to one, to the other, to the other. While the war ended in 1865, it was really the beginning for the South. Four million people were now free. A quarter of a million Confederate soldiers had died. The picture of the young African-American children, you know it's a city because of their background, but the city has been just demolished. We knew we had some great textual records and some fantastic photographs, but we didn't know about motion picture film. Actually, we do have motion picture film. The Vicksburg Reunion in 1917, anywhere from 8,000 to 10,000 veterans. Uh, over 1,800 attended the Gettysburg Reunion in 1938, and behind them you'd see automobiles going down the street. And it's just amazing to think what these veterans had seen, the changes they had seen from their time in the Civil War. You never know what you're going to find in the, uh, the boxes of documents. Mm -hmm.